Hello, I'm Professor Daniel Durumis at the University of Greenwich, uh, and I'm a professor in uh, pharmaceutical technology and process engineering. Our uh, research focuses on uh, 3D printing technologies and applications for uh, uh, healthcare. A major part of our uh, research uh, lies on the development of uh, pills uh, for um, what we call personalized medication. Uh, so practically, uh, the design and development of uh, pills can be adjusted to meet the individual uh, needs uh, of uh, each patient. Uh, as an effect that uh, this will have uh, an improved clinical uh, uh, performance for the uh, patients and they will improve their uh, treatment but also the quality of uh, life. So this is very uh, important because we can uh, adjust the amount of drug substance and also we can customize the release of the drug in our uh, body. We also work with uh, large pharmaceutical uh, companies for the uh, introduction of these technologies at uh, the point of care, uh, mainly hospitals and uh, pharmacies. So eventually in the near future, the patient will consult with our uh, clinicals, uh, clinicians and then they would uh, be able to uh, collect the medication from the pharmacy store uh, or at the, uh, the hostel. Another uh, part of our research focuses on the development of uh, uh, medical devices. For example, we design and print uh, uh, drug eluting stents and stents are used to open the arteries when they are blocked. Currently, the uh, commercial uh, stents are uh, comprised of um, uh, metals or uh, alloys and once they open the artery, they will uh, remain in our body forever. So the concept behind uh, 3D printing stents is to actually print polymeric stents, which are uh, strong enough to uh, maintain the artery open. And after a couple of years, they will disappear from the body because they are biodegradable. Another uh, area of uh, our uh, uh, work is to print what we call uh, micro needle arrays. So these are tiny uh, needle arrays which are very uh, small, less than one millimeter, and they can effectively pierce the skin without causing any pain, uh, without damaging the skin, but also they don't hit any nerves. Uh, as a result, they can be used as a platform to administrate uh, a lot of uh, different drug substances through the skin, which is the largest uh, organ of our uh, body. So recently we used uh, uh, micro needles to administrate uh, insulin for diabetic uh, uh, patients uh, in order to avoid the skin damage uh, because of the repeated use and also to, uh, for people that uh, are afraid uh, needles so they don't adhere to their medication. We found uh, uh, in a clinical trial we found that um, these uh, micro needles can administrate insulin uh, quite effectively and have equal or even better clinical uh, uh, results compared to the subcutaneous injections that we use at the moment. So briefly this is our uh, research at the University of Greenwich and uh, what we do in our 3D printing labs. Thank you.